Welcome to your IBM IT Analyst Notebook training sessions. Quick, efficient and looking good. Tips for IT charts with Shortest Path Training. Quickly and efficiently produce charts that are clear, neat and effective by using some of the less well-known features of the IT Analyst Notebook. Let the software do the heavy lifting so you have time to add the finishing touches. Here we have an association chart related to an organised crime network that is facilitating drug importation and human trafficking into the UK. We have intelligence connecting various companies and shareholders via shareholdings, telephone calls, online communication, as well as addresses. I'm going to select the centre of the chart here and use the option actual size to zoom in more closely. The chart has been structured to meet our analytical requirements. For example, we've added attributes for OCG roles, country of registration for companies, date, time and direction has been added to relevant link types such as telephone calls, IP communications and transactions. In this session, we are interested in companies named MES together with their shareholdings. I'm going to use the search bar, which is found under the Analyze tab. I will type in MES. Note three companies are found. To select all three on the chart, I will hold Shift after selecting the first, and then the third in the list. Under the Select tab, we have some quick accelerator tools. I'm interested in selecting all outbound links for these companies, the shareholdings they have. Note the direct outgoing links are now selected. I'm going to fit the selection to window so you can see those items more easily. I'd also like to look at the second depth of outbound links from these companies. I will select outbound once more. And to show you what that's done, I will fit the selection to window once again. Once we have found a result of interest, it's best practice to copy the selection to a new chart. This enables us to manage and present the data much more effectively. Up here in navy blue, we have the quick access toolbar. I'm going to use the shortcut copy to a new association chart. Now we have extracted the result, I'm going to swiftly add formatting for presentation purposes. Firstly, I will apply a layout. You will notice in the middle of the ribbon interface, we have network layouts, and over on the right hand side, we have timeline layouts. These layouts are particularly powerful for visual analysis on large charts, such as identifying highly connected or common entities. However, they are also good for organising smaller presentation charts such as this. I'm interested in the organisation layout. I can control layouts using the layout setup over on the left hand side. We can see a list of the layouts available in the software. I will select organisation. Separation wise, I'm going to adjust the measurement to 3.5 centimetres. I can rotate the orientation of the chart. Over on the right hand side, I can control the root entity from link direction. This will mean the link arrows will now flow down the page. I'll rerun the layout with my desired settings. The 
the positioning of the chart items clearly convey which companies own the shares. Next, I'm going to format the chart items by applying conditional formatting. Conditional formatting changes the style of entities and links based on rules you have defined regarding how your chart is structured. In the conditional formatting pane, you will see a list of various specifications. Some of these come with the software. This is a specification I have created. It can be reused on other charts, which are structured in a similar way. I'm going to edit it by right mouse clicking. My specification consists of four rules. Let's take a look at rule number one. Section one relates to whether we are applying the rules to entities or links. Section two relates to the criteria in which we are going to be applying the style to. And section three is the style that is going to be changed. Here it's line width. And section four enables me to specify a value contained in my link label value. As an example, for link label values greater than 50, the line width will be changed to a thickness of 5. Rule 2 will increase the font size of my link labels. And rule four will apply to my entities. Any entities containing a country of registration attribute will be changed to a different type and the type will be the country name itself. This will result in what looks like flag icons. I'm going to go ahead and apply the formatting. It's been successfully applied. So let's take a closer look. We hope you found this session useful. Do stay tuned for more of our tips throughout the event. Thank you.